Hello! In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how Homer Grid optimization software can model an electric vehicle charging load and then optimizing local solar and storage to reduce the cost of serving that load. Homer Grid's main value proposition is reducing utility charges by using solar and storage to shift and smooth peak utility usage to times when rates are lower. Demand charges are based on the maximum load, typically for just 15 minutes. Time of use rates provide less expensive electricity at certain times. Solar and storage together can reduce both these rates. In addition to reducing utility charges, Homer Grid can model EV charging infrastructure loads, design for resiliency during outages, and model combined heat and power. In this video, I demonstrate the features of the Homer Grid EV charging module, which lets you model an additional electric load based on charging electric vehicles and then optimizes your power system to meet that load while keeping your cost of electric power as low as possible. If you're new to Homer Grid, I recommend that you first watch the video on demand charge reduction, where I walk more slowly through setting up a Homer project file. You can find that video on the Homer Grid webpage or at homerenergy.com slash dcr demo. We're going to move through project setup quickly today so we can focus on the EV charging load modeling capabilities. First, we'll set up the project basics. This is a hospital with a large carport in Oakland, California. Then we'll add a load profile using the OpenEI database. I select a hospital in Oakland. This modeled load has a peak of 1,380 kilowatts and an average daily load of 24,000 kilowatt hours. We'll next add a tariff using the Genability database. I'll select the PG&E Extra Large General Time of Use Net Metering Tariff, which is widely used in this region. Now we'll add the equipment and renewable resources that we want Homer to consider. Up to 2,000 kilowatts of solar PV, NREL solar resource data downloaded from the internet, lithium ion batteries, and a converter. Now let's add the EV charging. Homer Grid comes with six different profiles that you can use as a starting point to create a profile for your situation. We'll start with the Managed Fleet Overnight Charging Profile. This profile is for large vehicles. It uses a 200 kilowatt outlet with a mean charging time of eight hours, six chargers, and an average of 15 sessions a day. We're gonna change this to 10 chargers and 20 sessions a day. So we're gonna add up to 2,000 kilowatts of load onto our system. This profile comes with three types of vehicles. We don't need any of these, so we're going to remove them, and then we'll create a custom type here, ambulance. It's 100% of the population. It requires 100 kilowatts of power and um, 135 kilowatt hours to charge fully. So now we can see our charging load profile. It's adding 1,328 kilowatt hours per day on average to our load up to a maximum of 2,000. So we've essentially doubled the peak load for this facility overall. This charging is all at night and the heat map indicates this. If you want to modify exactly when the model is going to look at things, you can do this over here in this section. This is the number of visits per hour and you can change that month per month. Before we look at the results, we'll check out our schematic. We have a primary load with 24,000 kilowatt hours per day, our utility tariff, solar PV, lithium ion batteries, a converter between the AC and DC buses, and our managed fleet EV load. So now let's look at the results. Homer simulates thousands of systems to find an optimum. We start with a summary results page, and let's take a moment to walk through this. The center of the page is a graph of cumulative cash flow over the lifetime of the project, comparing the straight utility with the optimized system. The details of these are on the left, what Homer calls the winning system, 
which is the utility with 2,000 kilowatts of PV, lithium ion batteries and a converter. The base case, which is the utility tariff we selected, is shown underneath that. This project has an internal rate of return of 7.9%, a 5.3% return on investment, and a simple payback of 11 years. To the right of the graph is a summary of costs for the two system. The table below that summarizes the savings, $4.38 million. Let's dig more deeply into these results by clicking on the Tables tab. Each row of this table shows the least expensive option for a particular combination of components. The top line is our winning system, Utility with PV and Storage. There's lots of information on all these systems, and if we select the Overall button, we can access all the systems that were simulated in this run. So let's take a more detailed look at our least cost system. This pop-up window has detailed information on every aspect of the modeled system. This page shows how the costs map to the system components. When we click on the Electric Vehicles tab, we get detail on exactly how Homer modeled that load. Finally, we'll create an engineering detail report that will let you share your Homer model results with other members of your team. Just click Create Proposal, select Engineer Detail, change any of the information that you want, including what to include and in what order, the format, PDF, Word, HTML, or RTF, and then when you select Open Report, you get an easily shareable report with the details of the system that you selected, which will usually be the winning system. I selected PDF, so this report opened in Adobe Acrobat. Thanks for watching this demonstration of how Homer Grid can model electric vehicle charging loads and optimize a power system to serve them. You can get a no-obligation trial for Homer Grid by visiting homerenergy.com slash trygrid. I also hope you'll explore everything else that Homer Grid can do for you and stay in touch with us as you explore Homer Grid during the trial process.